So today we're going to look at the SL408 series uh, smart lift. We brought in the HLERT for that purpose. And today we want to look at how to start up the machine, what to check, safety issues, and of course how to pick a piece of glass, how to make it work. So before we start up using the machine, we do need to check certain things on, on the smart lift. The first thing to check is the cups, any tears, any cracks, anything you need to be aware of, making the machine unsafe to use. I'm just looking at these, they all look good. Another thing we also check is the hoses. Do they all look okay? They look actually fine, so we are ready to go. The next thing to do is to turn on the machine using this red main key. It sits right down there. So now the machine is turned on and what you see is that this LED comes on and make sure that you do have some green light in this one just to make sure that the batteries are charged and ready for use. Next thing to do is to check the functions on the smart lift and uh, we use the remote control to check all the functions. Up and down. Tilting. In and out extension. Side shift. Rotation. check the vacuum pumps, we'll push in the handle that way uh, and then we open the valve to the cups. To close it again, there is a double handle, so we need to pull that out and pull it back to stop the pumps again to create vacuum. When we check the uh, vacuum pumps, you will see these gauges are dropping in pressure. When we close the valve again, we will see that they slowly start rising up again. Next step is the uh, driving functions. The driving functions, you simply turn them on and then you start using the tiller head. You turn the driving engine on and then you use the tiller head. Press on and move forward or backwards. So the last thing to check is the red belly button that when you're driving backwards and if it hits you, it moves forward and stops by itself. So now we are ready to start using the smart lift. The first thing we have to do is to read the manual. For safety reasons, that's a very important step. We need to understand and read the manual. The next thing to do when we are working with glass heavy loads is to define the area we're working in. We need to make sure to seal off the area so we know for a fact that no other people are going inside this workspace. The smart lift itself has the weight of a small car uh, and we need to understand when we're driving with this machine, especially when it's mounted with glass, it can cause serious injuries to other people. Again, working with smart lift, handling glass, make sure that nobody walks under the load uh, or, or too close to the load. It is heavy, it is glass. As a built-in safety, the smart lift comes with a double circuit system on the vacuum side. That means that we have a circuit that makes sure that no matter what, one circuit will be able to hold the full load. We are kind of showing that by having a blue and a red hose. So the blue system is, is one of them, the red one is the other system. A thing you need to check and be sure of is that they're always kind of in a diagonal cross line. So you have a blue up here and a blue down here, the same way you have a red 
and a red here. That way you maintain the security in the system. Another safety built-in thing is our vacuum system pressure. So right here we have the gauges again. If the pressure for some reason, a leak or something, drops down to 0.5 bar, it will start up automatically. So the pump starts automatically if the pressure drops. Another built-in safety on the smart lift is the overload switch. It's that one right here. So what we'll do is take a too big a piece of, of, of item, put on the machine and shoot it out. And what you'll see is this switch is preventing the machine from tilting forward. So now the switch is activated. That means that it's overloaded. And what it does, it, it prevents all other functions from working. So the machine won't go anywhere. The only thing you can do is retract the boom by pushing the button. When the machine is back, all function operates again. When you drive a smart lift up or down a ramp or a slope, always remember that you have to be walking on the high point and not under the machine. Before we start driving with the smart lift, always remember to put out the outriggers. Just because if you hit a dent, a hole, something, the outriggers are there to stabilize the machine. If you have to leave your smart lift for a certain reason, always make sure you park it on a flat ground and not on a slope. And now we are ready to start picking up a glass. I will show you how to do that. The first thing is to adjust the cups so we can pick up the glass in the center. That way we make sure that the weight is distributed equally in each side. Then we drive as close to the glass as we can. Then we adjust the pressure to the glass with a remote control. Now we want to push in so these springs get a little bit compressed, making sure that we are ready to create vacuum. Now we are ready to activate the vacuum by pushing in this lever. When we have vacuum, we are simply ready to pick up the glass and start working. Now we picked up the glass and we are ready to install.